hello everyone you welcome back to my channel thank you for liking for subscribing and for your comments thank you so much so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this peplum jacket you can rock on a dress outfit a skirt and a top it's simple easy and straightforward to make this is a jacket you can rock on any simple outfit just to give it that unique style or beautiful look so without further ado let's get into the video <music> So here on the table, I have two pieces of Ankara fabric. I'm going to be using the plain one just for the waist outline and the upper part of the front at the center front just to add some beautification to the jacket. This second Ankara piece is going to be the one I'm going to be using for the main part of the jacket so i have my basic bodice pattern from the shoulder to the waistline and i'm just going to be extending it with my fabric material when i'm about sewing the gathers on it so from my shoulder length to my waist is about 38 centimeters which is like 15 in inches so for the length of this peplum top it's going to be like 50 to 53 centimeters this is going to be 20 to 21 in inches after getting my length what i'm going to be doing is to note it the total length of the peplum of the jacket peplum is going to be 50 like i said earlier to 53 centimeters there about in inches it is 20 to 21 in inches i haven't established the length that i'm going to be having for my jacket what i'm going to do next is to mark what i have presently on my pattern paper which is 38.5 centimeters which is 15.2 inches like i said earlier the very first thing i'm going to be doing is to eliminate my waist that this is seen as an excess for the style i want to make but before i do that i will go ahead to blend in my center back because i traced out a basic bodice pattern that i have for this so i'm going to straighten out my center back to give me a straight line at the back then the excess i have around my back waist from the center back to the waistline which is a total of four centimeters this is about 1.5 inches thereabout so i'm going to be eliminating it at the side waist back like so so that it will give me my actual waist measurement on my back waist pattern what i did for this back waist is what i'm going to be doing for the front waist also i also have four centimeters 1.5 inches then i'll go ahead to also eliminate this right now what i'm having on my pattern paper is my actual waist measurement once i add up my back waist measurement with my front waist measurement multiply it by two it's going to give me my exact round waist measurements i haven't done this the next thing to do is to extract my band from this pattern but the very first thing i'm going to do is to go up by 1.5 centimeters you can go up by 0 0.5 inches to just make my waist go up a little because of the gathers i'm going to be adding at the waistline so i eliminated 1.5 centimeters from my waist upward once i'm done with this i went in to extract or to calculate my band for my band i did four centimeters four centimeters is 1.5 inches thereabout i did this for both the front and the back bodies then i went in to construct my lines label my front band my back band my side back center back side front and center front after this the next thing i went in to do is to come in at my new waistline where my finger is presently by six centimeters is in inches is 0.2 inches more or less i'm going to be marking it from the front and the back bodies then for the shoulder you can go in from the very tip of the shoulder to connect or come in by one inch or more what i did is to come in by two centimeters and i connected it to my new waistline with this i'm already done drafting this 
jacket this is as simple as it goes but for the neckline i won't be touching it because i am going to be adding the collar stand at the neckline so what i'm just going in to do is to use my marker to highlight the essential parts i needed for this jacket the next thing i'll be doing is to put the necessary notings on my pattern for the center back i'm going to be cutting it on fold but for the center front because it's going to be opened i'm going to be cutting it open and the next thing i'm going to do i haven't gotten my pattern right is to calculate what i'm going to be using for the remaining part of the jacket so i have 37 centimeters which is 14.5 inches i will deduct it from the actual length of the jacket i'm planning to make so it's going to give me 16 centimeter which is six inches so the total length for the remaining part of this jacket is 16 in centimeters and six in inches this is what i'm going to be adding then after this i'll be adding my seam allowance around the bodies of my pattern at the side i'm going to be adding 1.5 centimeters round like that center front side front but for the waist at the band side i'm going to be adding two centimeters you can do 0.5 centimeters all around the bodies once i'm done with this for this particular side once i cut off my pattern i'm going to be adding the 1.5 centimeters necessary at the area what i'm just doing is to label my bodies and note what i'm going to be cutting out for my back piece i'm going to be cutting out one whole piece for my front is going to be two pieces and for the waist is going to be one piece for the back and two piece for the front i just went ahead to note this because i love noting things like this on my pattern so that i won't mistakenly cut the piece i'm not meant to cut the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my pattern so we can see how it is this is how the pattern is after cutting it out then i'll put a little bit of marking where my upper part of the jacket is going to be stopping i went in to measure what i have and i noted it on my pattern paper for both the front and the back body so for me not to exceed the line when i'm sewing together the next thing i'm going to be cutting is to cut out the piece of fabric i sewed in with my jacket for the front pattern so i went in by five centimeters five centimeters is two in inches at the waist and at the neckline ruled a line to connect together from the neck point to the waistline i then went in to trace it out on another pattern paper added my seam allowance and cut it out so this is what i have presently on my table i'm done drafting the necessary part for this jacket for the same for the waistline and the band i'm going to be adding my 1.5 centimeters 1.5 centimeters that i added to the other pattern when i'm cutting it on my fabric this fabric piece is what i'm going to be using to cut the upper part of the jacket and the lower part of the jacket then this one i'm going to be using it to cut out the band and the one i added to the center front and the collar stand so i already went in to cut all the necessary parts needed for this jacket the reason why i don't do this on on camera is because i have recorded this first and i discovered after finishing the video that nothing was recorded so i had to start all over again so i'm just going to be showing us the fabric piece that i already cut out and i placed my pattern on it separating the pattern from the one i used for the recording first you can see it's all the same thing it's the same process i went through and so i'm just showing us the length at which i want this video to be out there for the fabric piece i cut four pieces for the front because i'm going to be using the same piece to lining it then two separate pieces for the back for the front band i also cut four pieces for the back band I cut two piece and for this other part i cut just two piece and the peplum will be added after sewing everything together the first thing i'm going to be doing is to remove my pins and to go ahead to prepare my fabric 
for sewing the very first piece i will be attaching is the front piece and the back piece at the shoulder line so the first thing i'm doing is to go in with my pins to hold both back and front shoulder together go ahead to sew it along the hedge like so then place the piece i cut for the center front at the area like so i will go in with my pins to fold that edge in and hold it down in a very smooth and neat way to align with my front piece then after pinning what i'm going to do is to go ahead to measure if i have the same length then go in to sew it at the edges like so this is what i have after sewing in my shoulder and the center piece together the next thing i'm going to be doing is to take my lining piece which i've also sewn together place it on my front piece then pin round the edges like so and i'll go around to sew it at all the edges where i have pinned together i haven't done this i'm going to pick up my band piece then i will attach the front band to the back band at the side like so pin it together also attach the other piece together at the side and what i'm going to be doing is to go ahead to sew at the side like so on my sewing machine i have sewn lining to the main fabric together i went in to notch the necessary parts then turn it to the right side this is what i have presently i'll go into iron and come back to show us i've gone into iron and this is what i have right here is almost hooking up and i haven't done this the next thing i'm going to be sewing at the hedges is my band so i went in to notch my band i'm also going to go in to notch my jacket piece i'm going to put my band on where i have notched on the band and where i notched on the jacket piece like so and i'm going to turn it to the other side place the other inner band like so because i want this to be an inseam sewing where you won't see the edges of where i stitch together along the band line so once i've placed both band and my jacket piece in between both band i will go ahead to pin round the edges until i get to the edge where i marked earlier this i'm going to be leaving up to 12 centimeters 12 centimeter is like maybe four plus inches i'm going to be leaving it in between the band before i had my back piece at the waistline just the way i'm doing like so this was what i marked on my pattern earlier the way you're seeing in this video so i'm going to go ahead to pin the rest of my band with the back piece then do the same thing for the other side of my jacket piece at this very edge at the waist two i'm going to pin where i notched that my back piece is going to be starting so there'll be a space that i cut off in between my band earlier so i'm going to sew from this edge of my band to the other edge of my band like so and i'll come back to show us what it is this is what i have after sewing everything together and turning it the other way around you can see what i have is the open side at both sides was where i cut off from the pattern earlier and i also went in to add my button hole that is going to work around the band this is what i have the next thing i'm going to be doing is to sew around my gathers so i'm going to measure what i have for the width of my band and once i have now i'm going to multiply the total measurement i have for my waistband by three so my waistband is 78 centimeters which is 31 in inches i'm going to multiply this by three to get what i'm going to be using for my gathers and for my gathers i'm going to be doing a two-step gather since the total length is six inches 16 centimeters so i'm going to measure like maybe up to seven to three inches which is 7.5 centimeters for the shorter gathers then the longer one will be the actual length of the band after cutting it off camera i will go ahead to sew it and come back to show so this is what i have when i've sewn everything 
properly together attached my button and my color stand and this is how the color stand aligned with the center front and also with the band and this is how it's looking i love the fact that it came out so pretty and beautiful so this is the finished work i also love the fact that i was able to complement the main ankara with the other ankara piece which made the outfit pop out nicely so i went ahead to put on this jacket with a simple black dress and i wore it to church for our thanksgiving sunday and this is how the outfit is i just thought i should show us how it came out eventually i love the fact that it sits well around my bodies so if you want to try out this piece you can just try it out on your own and let me know in the comment section the results of the piece thank you for watching my video please like subscribe this is going to encourage me more to do lots and lots of videos till next time bye bye